Hello guys. We followed four mute swan pairs over the last four years, documenting their lives from first establishing territories, battling other pairs, finding nest sites and eventually trying to bring up their young in our changeable climate here in the UK. It's been a real privilege as we've learned about this amazing species and the eight individuals that we've been following. We've really loved every minute. Follow along with us as we bring you our Mute Swan Diary. This is Grebe Lake, with its little mere down at the east end. The East Enders are Frank and his partner Francine. Frank holds the territory at the east end of the lake, which includes the small mere. Every year, Frank wants to keep control of the east end of the main lake and so he takes his tiny signets out onto the open water. But there's a problem. For the last two years, the west end of the lake has been controlled by Snowy and his partner Blanche. Snowy and Frank are always fighting, irrespective of where they have signets in tow. Last year, Blanche had four signets but within about a week and a half, she'd lost them all. In the last three years, neither of these pairs has been able to get any signets through to maturity. Maybe this year will be different. Our second two pairs are on the gravel pits reserve. Harry and his partner Sally and Claude and his partner Maud. Claude takes no comers. Anything that moves, Claude will drive off. Harry and Sally were a new pair last year, the first time they've nested in this area and they successfully raised three signals. But Claude and Maud are very, very successful. They've been here now for a number of years, always raising signets. And last year, they successfully raised seven to maturity. In late January, one of Harry and Sally's signets had already flown and only two were left. Maybe it had joined all of these swans that we saw on our main Grebe Lake Reserve about four miles away. We'd never seen so many swans together. These would be a combination of one-year-old, two-year-old and older swans. But not all of them made it through the next week. At the end of March, it really felt as if spring was on the way. On Grebe Lake, Frank and Snowy were squaring up to see who would control the East End this year. And on the gravel pits, Claude was pursuing his annual custom of chasing off geese. On 
on the 2nd of April. Claudemore, it looks like Claudemore the nesting guys, although it's a slightly different place than last year, which is really weird. Uh, it's Claudemore guys, the first time we've seen them really de definitely uh, trying to make a nest. Um, the water levels are so high here that they cannot make a nest where they did last year. So. They're trying to find some high ground. They're a bit later than they were last year. They were nesting by the 28th of March. And you can see here, I don't know if she's on a nest, I can't really see. I'll try and get around a bit further and see I can see, but this is probably the last bit I'm gonna be able to get to. So through the first two weeks of April, these were the only two photographs I, I managed to get. The vegetation grew rapidly. And so we just had to wait to see what happened. Back at the east end of the Grebe Lake Reserve, Frank and Francine were also struggling to find a nest site. The nest site from last year was still under water. The high water levels were really playing havoc with this year's breeding. But a few days after, we'd found Claude and Maud's nest on the gravel pits reserve. We spotted Francine on a nest in the middle of the tiny mere at the east end on Grebe Lake. Snowy, who had been forced back to the west end by Frank, was desperately trying to find a nest site with Blanche. She set up a really, really hastily built nest on a bank right next to the Country Park Cafe. There was no way that they would be able to stay here. On the gravel pits on the 24th of May, it's Claude and Moore guys, first time I've seen them. Looks like they have four signets, but I can't see. Claude and Maud kept the signets well hidden in all the mirrors and ponds and lakes around the gravel pits reserve. And so it wasn't until the 1st of June that I found them again. Our most successful pair over the last few years only had two signets left. Whether it's because of the high water levels and their different nest site, I just don't know. Maybe the weather has been different this year, but they've only got two left. Still wonderful parents though, with Maud bringing up food from the bottom of the meal. Hopefully, these two will make it through. I had also been searching on the gravel pits reserve on the small mere for any sign of Harry and Sally. Harry seemed to be out on the mere on his own, 
but I did catch a glimpse of a swan, which I assumed was Sally, on a bank. Maybe this was a nest site? Again, we'd have to wait and see. On the 3rd of June, at Grebe Lake, on the east end, Francine's nest was showing signs of movement. And Frank was doing the impression of the proud father. We looked out across the main lake and to our utter astonishment there was a swan with a signet. In fact, there were three signets. Could this be Blanche? Did she nest on the island and we hadn't seen it all the way through the spring? It seemed to be the only explanation, but in that case, where was Snowy? As soon as Frank gets out of the little lake, there's going to be a problem. Our worst fears, Frank was on the move, crossing to the main lake. There was now a real risk to Blanche and her three signets. Where was Snowy? Two hundred yards or so up the lake, there he was, driving off another swan. The problem was, where was Frank? There he is, approaching from the east end. And Snowy is moving down from the west end. The signets are in the middle. Fortunately, Snowy reaches Blanche and the Signets first, and Frank seems to turn back, sensing that he can't take on both swans. An uneasy peace descends, but we don't think this is over. next morning, back on the East End, this is Snowy and Blanche, but no signets. Snowy starts to display, swimming towards the corner of the lake. Across the path is the small mere where Frank and Francine's nest is. He's making a lot of noise. He's trying his best to prove that he's the master of this East End. As things start to calm down, Sue spots something on Blanche's back. They still have one signet left out of the three. guessing that the lack of any safe haven for these swans is the reason why they've lost two of their signets. Across the path, no more than 15 yards away, here's Frank. He's heard all the commotion that Snowy has caused, but he's looking very relaxed. And a few yards away from Frank. So here is Francine on her little mirror with three signets still, which seems to indicate that Snowy has taken over the bottom of the lake with his with Blanche and just the one signet left. 
this is going to run and run really amazing oh, good for good for Francine for keeping these signets in here you know I thought the one over there the, the signet looks smaller than hers because hers is slightly yeah well that's right isn't it amazing is there three or four definitely three three I think these are the three we saw, unless they weren't the three we saw yesterday god we're losing track they are three of them yeah in fact there was at least four three days later out in the big lake Blanche is still trying to find protection for her last remaining signet whilst on the small mere we were surprised to find that Francine had five. Oh, fantastic so here is Mad Frank, and here is Francine with five signets. We thought she had three, but there's five out there. Well done. Now, hopefully, he won't be leading her and the signets onto the big lake anytime soon because if he does, I would imagine they won't last very long. So, we'll have to wait and see. So we were just discussing uh, Frank as a parent and uh, we don't really approve of him. He's, uh, he's never very close to the Signets. He's not been very, at all successful in bringing them up. Unlike Claude on the other reserve, who's always with the female and the Signets. Over the next few days, we saw the number of Signets reduced from five down to three and then on the 9th of June just two it's snowy so he was trying to attack Frank at the bottom of the lake two days ago, three days ago, and just trying to find out how many signets that his partner Blanche has got. He's uh, coming to give me a bit of a warning. You're a bit aggressive, aren't you? Hmm? Here we are, Blanche with her one signet. So, still going, little one. On the 11th of June, Frank, Francine, and the two signets in tow made a territory grab right the way down to the north end of the lake. We'd seen this in previous years, we certainly saw it last year, and it ended up with both pairs losing all of their signets. We wondered what had happened to Snowy, Blanche and their final signet. They had effectively become nomads, moving around the main lake, trying to avoid Frank. This would be the last time we would see this little signet. Throughout this time, there was so much other new life going on. Great crested grebe chicks on their mother's back. A 
and Canada geese goslings growing fast. And some late ducklings. In the middle of June, on the gravel pits, I spotted Harry, seemingly nest building. Very, very late. But then a few days later. Hello, guys. Well, here's Harry, but I can find no trace of his partner Sally or any signets or any evidence that she's on the nest. Do they have a nest? Back on Grebe Lake I spotted Blanche. Uh, guys I think this is uh, this is definitely Snowy and Blanche with no sign of their final signet. We had big storms yesterday and last night lots of heavy rain and these little signets and goslings can't really keep the water off so if they're not being protected by the parents they've got a real problem. It looks like we've lost their final one here. So we are 23rd of June and it's Frank and Francine and two signets which I can't quite get on the camera. Oh yeah, there they are. And they're gorgeous. Well done, keep going guys. Don't take them on the big lake. He kept them through these, that terrible storm we had yesterday, so keep going. Summer was moving on fast. carrying crow chicks, being taught to forage and hunt. It's the 1st of July. Snowy and Blanche are in threat mode. And here is, we've just seen a couple of swans displaying out on our uh, north side of our lake, but we've just realised that Frank is out. He's away from the mere onto the main lake. And guess what? He's brought Francine and the two signets out. So they're not staying put, which was one of their biggest problems last year. They brought them out too early onto this main lake and it didn't go well. So 1st of July, let's see what happens. Good luck, little ones. You're probably going to need it. Well, I hadn't seen Claude and Maud on the gravel pits for nearly three weeks. I needed to go and find out if they still had their two signets. The meres and lakes have overgrown. Some of the access paths are almost impassable. So I wasn't holding out much hope but I would keep trying. Just wanted to take this opportunity guys to say thanks very much for all your support and if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing. It's completely free. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell 
and you can watch other stuff that we put on this channel. Thanks again everyone. of last year's signets, I would imagine. They're not quite approaching, probably just over a year old now. You can see this near one has got still got some slightly grey, some few grey feathers on the back. So I wonder where Claude and Maud are. Well I'll have to push whack him back to where I started. I finally found them. Hello guys. So I found Claude and Maud. Thought we'd finish with them, but here they are. Still got their two signets. They're actually quite big. Well, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, guys. Great to see Claude and Maud their two signets. So as we leave this six month review, we have two signets here with Claude and Maud. We have two signets on the Grebe Lake Reserve with Frank and Francine, who seem to be a lot more risk takers, those East Enders, than these two. So we'll do another review towards the end of the year and see which pair has been the most successful. I know who my money's on. <laughs>